Hello there, the Fabled Harpooner here, ready for another Double Trouble Hunt. Weapon class this time is a longsword and a weapon of choice. I've been debating if I should bring this one yet or not, but it's the Barbarian Blade. It is technically a low rank because you get it after completing the urgent CDS offline or village quest. So if I get it there, it should be still applicable for an online, online hunt. And compared to the other long swords, I, I mean it is the actual most powerful one you can get right now. It's given to you by the Wyverian or Wyverian trader, Argosi trader. And well, some water element, which is not that of uh, important, especially versus there's these two guys, they're not particularly vulnerable to water. Some damage, but not too much from it. And it's not that high either. It's a high raw, some affinity and decent sharpness. I'm going to use it anyway. Also, what I forgot to do with the light bow gun, if you didn't notice, was to upgrade the armour. So you can see here, oh, wrong option. Armcraft, upgrade armor. You can see the caps actually are level one. You can upgrade the helm because the blade master using right now. Oh, did I forge? Yeah, why not use the? Hmm. Do I want to use all of them? Probably not. Not yet. Well, not all on one piece of armor really. But I want to spread them out. So yes, a couple of levels here, one and two here, oops, wrong option, not the easiest way of upgrading a piece of armour multiple times, two, three, four, five and six. So yes, you pretty much can see that each uh, of the light bow, well, gunner armour set is actually a level one, which is what I used. Surprised I didn't manage to card, although I was really close at one point. I'm not making that mistake on the Glade Master one. And level 7. And already out of advanced atmospheres. Nice level of defence, 278. And a nice attack as well. Armor skills I'm bringing, oh not that trend. See, speed sharpening, water attack plus one. I think that affects it to some degree. Base is 100, with their plus one, it's actually 110. Maybe an extra point here and there and some hits. Items though, I think I should put away things that I don't need. I am bringing the power charm and armor charm again this time. Did seem to help somewhat. Maybe not because can those affect explosions from the clusters and the crack shots? I don't think so. They seem to have a set. I could be wrong. Well, that's a nice amount of fresh items. Again, I'm not going to use these two. I'm going to reserve them for high rank only, since they're usually only up here when you're in high rank. What I can do is go for an attack boost. I don't need polisher. Don't need that combination either. Let's see something else. Not really the best options. Fire starter. Combiner high. No, not really. What else can I get? I could go for weaken actually. And I've said uh, before that. I want to use a weakener, but after what I've found out and how it works, and this being an online Tanzia or online, a Tanzia quest, which means they usually the health pool is somewhat higher, it should make the quest go faster.
What I believe I haven't really mentioned much is how the part breaker works. It should actually allow you to cut body parts, or cut tails, and break other body parts that much easy, easily. And it's great for, as I mentioned before, for multi monster hunts. Like the double trouble. Since they usually start with a lower health pool than your regular monsters, or single one. Monster hunts. Meaning that you probably uh, might end up killing them before cutting off the tail or breaking the body part you're trying to uh, break. Anyway, the usual stuff. Yes, just two of the whatever is available should be more than enough. In fact, even one is more than enough. I haven't really been using much of the supply items other than the flash bombs. Then maybe the dang bomb. Let's see if I can get to area 3 before he or she departs. I think it's the rough loss that's there. Still, I've yet to confirm it. And I believe the Wraithing starts at 8. Actually, that looks like the Raytheon. Okay, so it's the Rathalos that starts at 8. None of them seem to be coming this way. Oh! The Rathalos was just up there for a moment. Okay, so she's probably moved to 2 and he's moved to 5, or going towards 5. So let's start off with the Rathalos. As it's already here. And get the gauge up. Since I have near infection, I can easily get the gauge up. Between roars, well, doing roars, so it's not much of an issue. Let's try to get that tail, Ooh. if I don't miss. Then the Wraithing's already here because he pulled it, I suppose. Okay, part breaker. Beginning. Making it really easy to break body parts. should be much more easier to break tougher body parts. Usually the Raytheons and Rathalos ones are pretty much easy on their own. But other monsters like the Uragan, which have tough and chins, and particularly its tail, are somewhat much harder. Ooh, managed to roll before the, the fireball came out. That was a lucky dodge. Not getting the gauge levels up though. The actual spirit gauge is full, but the blade gauge. I'm not sure how to differentiate between differentiate. Tell the difference between the two types of gauges. Ooh, well, charge hit me head on. Ooh, is that bit off? Nice double whammy. No, don't hit me with a tail. Lucky shot that one. Oh, and the finisher didn't connect. Shame. Try to get that tab off. Oh, she's already out of the effects of the flash bomb. Okay, she's charging after charges, so that's what I'm missing. Oh, nearly.
really want to get that gauge up. Oh no, is he? Oh. I was suspecting they would do that. Fireball bombardment. Okay, wing broken. She keeps hitting me just as I try to... Wow. Yes, just as I try to keep on finishing the hits on the Rathalos. Oh boy. They kind of protect you from each other if you are well positioned. It's just uh, some of their strikes will push each other out of the way. Really need to be careful when he goes into the air. Oh boy! Oh, nice dodge of time. Let's see if I can pull off a combo out finally. Oh, she's exhausted, so it should be easy enough. Careful there. Even though she was pretty much a stationary, the hitbox is still there so it can damage you. Luckily it didn't. Okay, that was a lot of hits, so I'm gonna sharpen anyway. She is going to seven, that's a bit of a long distance from me, so I'm going to go in after the Rathalos. I don't know, she's going to 8. Is she weak enough? Maybe she is. Or maybe she just decided to go to 8 to an army. Probably missed a chance for Shiny there. It's the rough loss. Came here to 8. Oh boy. I could imagine the fireball hitting me just before it did. As I was swinging sword. Yeah, you roll the what? I'm not really concerned. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hit him. That was dangerous. I could have been hit by that if it managed to target at me. I decided to go after me. Rolled and got it by that. Ooh. Ow! Did I flinch? I said, hit me with a fireball. Hold it. Is it a possibility? Oh, again. He loves that move. That silent, sudden fireball. There we go. It does have a nasty, large area of effect. I really want that tail off. Should be off by now. He keeps moving around far too much, as he likes to, so it's harder to reach. Oh, the Raytheon's already here, that's nice. Thank you, Cha Cha Okayamba, who have I knocked it now to of the sky and then sliced off the tail. The only thing I can't tell is if the part breaker skill actually is applied only to your attacks. Or to teammates and Cha Cha and Kayama. On top of that, maybe. Okay, let's try to get a finish off here. Nice, level 2. It's 
Spirit combo. Spirit gauge. charge oh come on that tail seems to hang a bit high as usual I think I've already mentioned it before so even with the long sword you sometimes miss and just by inches really Okay, thank you, this is the first moment to attack that out. It's a bit much exposed. Okay, both tails cut. It would be interesting to see a monster with two tails that you can cut off two parts off. Yep, you do that, should be able to slay you here. It should. Maybe not. Oh, very lot of losses here again. Nice boomerangs, all coming in handy. Wow, she took all those hits and still is alive. Wow, she's getting flinched in the air a lot. Oh, I can't get up. I might just chase her because I want to finish her off. Oh, he came off me. I've lost track of the shadow. Damn it. Thinking she's gone too far. Oh no. Lost track of the shadow, but she's the one that's still paintball. Nice. Ooh, nearly got hit by that. Okay, you can get paintballed, and we go after her. Hopefully, before she moves to eight from there. And this time, I don't have a speed gather with me, so. Ooh. So I get to go a fireball to the back. Okay, let's try to split combo her to death. She's still alive. Oh, didn't notice the blade losing sharpness. I guess we did fight a lot in that too. Oh no, just going to like try to flash out. And now we can finish her off. If she lets us. Okay, that's going to call the Rathalos over. I feel I can kill her bef long before that. And I did. And now the Rathalos is just arriving. You know what, Hello. let me go over. He's still exhausted and in rages. I'm guessing seeing her dead is not really pleasant. Oh, long time since I saw this attack. Where's it gone? There we go. Oh, lost him. Ooh. Was circling the sky it was, but I couldn't really track him properly. Ration. And let's get the spirit gauge up.
Oh, that's a perfect moment for a flash bomb. She might react to it, but too late. Oh, I didn't bring my own. Bad mistake. Can't have that. These kinds of mistakes happen, especially since I'm arriving or reaching high rank soon enough. I was hoping for a flinch. Got charged instead. Ah, fades. Never coming out in time. Okay, there we go. Now I can try it properly. You could actually flash it the moment it dives. Shame that the animation they made him do is just a typical crash down rather than a, or slam down, than a, rather than actually crashing down, like keeping the momentum of the flight. Would be a bit more spectacular. A little bit closer. Nice flinch. Not so nice fireball to the face. Just the wrong distance there can really probably hit the head. Did I? I did miss. I completely missed with that last uh, finisher, and I can't really flash him to stop. More can rage him, but that really won't stop it. Okay, getting the Mega Potion ready and hopefully reach 7 in time. Well, we're past the 15th minute mark, so maybe they can manage to do it before the 20th. Well, at least the fight is not around here with all these cats around. They were annoying with the light bow gun. How oh, come? So I'm not close enough to hit it with my sword, but I mean I am close enough to get hit by his tail that's been cut off. Game logic. when the both either the Raven or the Rathalos or any other monster just spam the tail spin. When they're blinded I can kind of understand it, but when they're not it's just annoying. And there we go. 31 minutes remaining before the 20 minute mark. Nice. So we get the cars. Well, I'll touch and can have a deal with the Bonobos. So I'm guessing that with the Lance wasn't really that powerful to begin with, 
when I used the plaster. It was falling back. Back behind. Could have forged it, upgrade into it after hunting the Durambaros. So many lances available. There's still a few more that I can use. And they're not the most powerful ones. Not that stage anyway. Anyway, rewards. Got Wraith and Scales, Webbings and Scales, Flame Sacks from either of them. Rathalos Scales and Webbing, Talons, Shell, Talons and Shells. What was that? New Longest? Nice. Still not Silver Crown. Anyway, this has been the favourite Arpona and in the Rathalos and the Raytheon and the door door. Well it is a door and then the double trouble quest. With the long sword weapon class and the bow barbarian blade as the weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time and good hunting.